This video will show you how to make a woven basket in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. When you open Blender, select the default cube then come to the modifier properties then click on add modifier and go to generate then add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the viewport levels to 3 then press tab to go to the edit mode. Press 3 to switch to face selection then select this top face and press delete then select faces to delete the face. Click on this icon to switch to x-ray visibility then click on this x to go to a side view. Press 1 to switch to vertex selection then select these top vertices. Press G then Z then minus 0.9 to move them down by 0.9. Now click on this icon again to turn off x-ray visibility. Press 3 to switch to face selection then select this bottom face. Press I to insert it up to this level. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Come back to the modifier properties then click on this drop down arrow then click on apply to apply it. Now come up here and click on this icon then switch this area to preferences. Go to add-ons then click here in the search bar then type in extra. Now click on this box to activate Add Curve Extra Objects. So come back and click on this icon then switch this area back to 3D Viewport. Now make sure this cube is selected then press Shift to then go to Curve then Knots and add Celtic Links. Come down here and click on this drop-down arrow to expand on this Settings panel. Click here on Bevel Depth then change it to 0.02. Click on Weave Up then change it to 0.01 then change the Weave down to minus 0.02. Now if you come to the Outliner and deactivate the viewport visibility of this cube, you can see that our basket has come out. If you select it then press Tab to go to the Edit Mode, you can see that it's a fully editable curve object which you can edit in case you want to make any changes. So press Tab to go back to the Object Mode. Right-click then go to Convert to then select Mesh to convert it to a mesh. Now if you press Tab to go to the Edit mode you can see that the geometry is there. And now we are done. You can now go ahead to work on your scene further in Render. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.